We like to think of the United States as number one, but we won't be number one in science education until we get rid of junk science in the classroom. At the National Center for Science Education, we work tirelessly to keep that junk science out because we want to leave this country a better one for our descendants. NCSC played a very important part in the Dover trial in 2005, uh, which was uh, very important in keeping intelligent design out of science classrooms in public schools. Uh, we worked with the uh, legal team and the expert witnesses. The uh, archives which we've maintained here over the years allowed us to trace the creationist origins of intelligent design in a way that was very convincing to the judge at the, at the trial. NCSC has been an important player over the years in keeping junk science out of our classrooms. However, today there's another form of junk science which is uh, trying to worm its way into public science classrooms. Uh, that has to do with uh, climate change and uh, denial. Communist corporations, elitist politicians, and reckless scientists have contributed to creating a phony crisis. Scientists are fudging data to make their case for global warming. There's no making a deal with these vampires. I mean, this is a greedy... I mean, folks, I'm not trying to demonize them. And this is, this is not anecdotal. This, the scientific temperature research surveys. We are actually cooling. NCSC is now taking this up as a, a critical issue in our own mission, partly because we know that climate affects everyone, and because we know that decisions that we make today are going to affect generations to come and that children in school today, throughout their lifetime, are going to be making decisions that are going to affect the climate, and they should have an accurate basis for that process. And what's needed is a reputable body, some, a group that is able to distinguish the real science from the junk science that's being put out there by various groups to try to confuse the public and to make it seem as if there's a scientific controversy when there's no real scientific controversy at work. Teachers are being pressured to present climate change denial in their classrooms as if it were real science. And in response, NCSE is expanding our scope to defend teachers, students, and the science itself. We see this as a key battle against pseudoscience and junk science in classrooms, and we're marshalling our resources to take this effort on the same way that we've taken on creationism. If you'd like to support the National Center for Science Education to keep junk science out of the classroom, follow the links below. We're a membership organization and we depend upon people like you to support us. Please follow the links and join or donate or both. We'd love to have you as a member.